Hello, I'm Daniel Watrous, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the Optin Crusher plugin on your website. In order to do that, I'm going to use my one of my websites, the WordPress Membership University, which is running the Optin Crusher. So to begin with, you come to the download page, and you should have a link in your email. And from the download page, you just download the newest version. And uh, I'll just point out here that there are some share buttons that you can use to share this with uh, people on Facebook and Twitter. And also right down here now there are links to new training videos. And I've put those onto their own website. And this video will actually show up on that website as well. After you've downloaded the new version, you should have it somewhere on your computer. And here you can see where I've got mine. This is a zip file, which means it's a compressed file. And in Windows, if you right click on it, there should be an option that says Extract All. I'm sure it'll be similar on a Mac. I, I usually get rid of this last uh, folder so that the folder name isn't the name of the file itself. And then you just click Extract. And that's it. So now you've got all of the Optin Crusher files right here. So next, let's come over to my test website. And we go into the dashboard. And a couple of things are going to change, so I want to point these out. First is that under settings, right now, there's an option that says WP Opt-in Crusher. This is going to change to say simply Opt-in Crusher in the new version. There will also be a few changes back here, but I'll, I'll leave a lot of the, the training for the new features back here to the new videos. So what you want to do then is, and, and unfortunately for an upgrade, you do have to use FTP but it's really not that hard. So you go into your website and you'll see, so this is my WordPress membership university.com where it's hosted. You go into the WP content folder, you go into the plugins folder, and then you scroll down until you find opt-in crusher. You go right into that folder. So now over here, I'm showing uh, the folder where I downloaded. So let me just refresh and now you can see the opt-in crusher files. So you just simply click on uh, the images folder, scroll down to the bottom, hold your shift key and select style.css. So that should select all of the files. Now there might be different ways to do that. I mean, you could click on this and hold shift and just down arrow until you got to the bottom. One way or another, you want to select all of these and then you just drag them over and you drop them right on top of the old ones. And it's going to ask you what to do if a file already exists. In our case, what we want to do is overwrite, and you can save yourself some time by saying apply this action to all the rest of the files that are in the queue currently. Now it takes just a minute to upload all of those files. So once that upload's done, your opt-in crusher is now updated. So if we come back to our dashboard, you'll see now that there is a link for opt-in crusher. So it's no longer WP opt-in crusher, now it's just opt-in crusher. When you click that, you'll see the new administration panel and it's got the logo in here so you'll know it's updated correctly. And so what we'll do is while we're testing it, we want to say show when logged in and we'll update. So that'll be the first thing we do. The other thing I want to point out is that with the new version, your Aweber form settings weren't carried over because now it'll accommodate uh, opt-in forms from any email service provider. So you'll need to go over to Aweber or uh, there are videos for other service providers. And for the form that you want, so this is for my WordPress membership university. I come over to publish, I will install my form, raw HTML, select this entire form, the raw HTML version paste it in here. It works its magic. And the only thing I do with Aweber is in order to keep track of how many impressions are shown, I copy this little bit here, which is the mechanism they use to keep track of how many times the form is shown. After that, I, oh, I also want to take out these little semicolons here. And again, all of these details are in the individual videos for each email service provider. So that's it. So now I should be able to go back to WordPress Membership University. And after a short delay, we'll see the footer roll up. Okay, so there it is. The name, email, submit. 
At this point, you have the new version of Optin Crusher installed, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.